Hi, I'm Andy Jimenez. The last decade has witnessed a shift in the enterprise data center market from the traditional owner-operated model towards off-premise co-location and cloud facilities, which has powered one of the greatest growth engines the tech industry has ever seen. Data center network infrastructure has evolved to support customer adoption of off-premise solutions, plus the explosion of devices connecting to the network. While transmission speed is still king, low latency must also be a principal objective when designing a data center for high performance, flexibility, and scalability. In many instances, single mode fiber provides the optimal cabling solution for hyperscale and cloud data centers. With the publication of the IEEE 802.3 BS standard in 2017, the IEEE standardized on 200 gigabit per second and 400 gigabit per second optical interconnects that can operate up to 10 kilometers in distance using single mode fiber. The data rates and longer physical reach made single mode fiber an attractive option for these types of facilities. However, there may be situations where cost effective shorter reach optics based on multi-mode fiber technology would be a better fit. Under this premise, the IEEE has established a new project to develop a 400 gigabit per second standard called the IEEE 802.3CM, the standard for physical layer and management parameters for 400 gigabit per second over multi-mode fiber. One of the primary use cases for multi-mode fiber is in the switch-to-switch -switch connections of a leaf spine network architecture. This architecture is favored in many hyperscale data centers as it provides for very high data rate, low latency connections between servers. In this two layer architecture, the leaf switches located in top of rack, middle of row, or end of row physical configurations can be connected to the spine switches using short reach optical modules operating over multi-mode fiber. The IEEE 802.3CM has technical objectives for 400 gigabit per second operation over eight pairs of multi-mode fiber and four pairs of multi-mode fiber, each with installed lengths of up to 100 meters. The parallel solutions proposed in the IEEE 802.3CM will look to minimize the implementation costs by leveraging the lower cost pixel sources used with multi-mode fiber when compared to the longer wavelength single mode optics. Another benefit of the parallel configuration is its ability to support individual duplex breakouts of the 400 gig circuit, which improve the flexibility of the multi-mode fiber installation greatly. There are exciting developments on the horizon for multi-mode fiber technology, but education is needed to determine the right solution based on the application environment. Learn more by reading our tech brief on Annexer.com and talking to an Annexer technology expert. Thank you.